Hi everyone, my name is Travis Collins and I'm an engineer with Analog Devices. Today I'll be talking about the different MATLAB toolboxes that we maintain at ADI. These will cover a basic introduction to the toolboxes, what you can use them for, installing the toolboxes, and then finally we'll finish it up with some documentation and where you can get more information about the toolboxes and support. Now, we maintain a number of toolboxes over the years that address different product areas. These include things like high-speed converters, transceivers, sensors, and even different time-of-flight cameras. And the, the toolboxes support different use cases, where we'll have something like behavioral models that model our different components at different levels, uh, streaming support, which allows you to control and move data back and forth from something like an evaluation board or a custom platform that you might have depending on your software stack. And then finally, targeting support, which allows you to move code from something like embedded coder or HDL coder onto a platform that's supported by analog devices. Now, the different uh, product areas that we supported or different toolboxes that we've maintained over the years include, one is the transceiver toolbox, which includes support for different transceiver products like AD9361, ADRV 9009, ADRV 9002, 9371 devices in this category. Uh, the second toolbox is the high speed converter toolbox, which supports uh, ADCs, DACs, mixed signal front end devices like the 9081. The sensor toolbox, which is geared towards uh, things like IMUs or accelerometers uh, that ADI makes and allows you to stream data back from them. And then finally is our time of flight toolbox, which is focused on the different depth cameras uh, that we maintain and support. Now, next, I'll switch over to MATLAB and just give a brief introduction on uh, how to actually install the toolboxes, uh, which will be start off by using um, the add-on explorer to actually get the toolbox into our session of MATLAB. So let's switch over to MATLAB. Okay, switching over to MATLAB here, uh, I'm just gonna go through the process of installing the toolbox. Uh, we'll be focusing on high-speed converter toolbox right now, but this process is the same if you're using transceiver toolbox, if you're using sensor toolbox, or uh, time-of-flight toolbox. Um, now, there are two options to actually installing a toolbox. Uh, one is actually using the add-on explorer, which I'll be showing here. This is directly built into MATLAB. Uh, and the second is actually downloading an installer file. We'll show that in the second half of the video. But uh, for now, we'll just focus on uh, using add-on explorer. So the first step is to just launch MATLAB. And then uh, through the Home tab here, uh, we select uh, this Add-ons dropdown, and we select uh, Get Add-ons. And this will bring up the Add-on Explorer. And you can think of this as like an app store for, for MATLAB itself. And we'll search for the high-speed converter toolbox. And you can see the first entry here is the one we're interested in, Analog Devices Inc. High Speed Converter Toolbox. We'll just click on that. And then click Add. And this is going ahead and downloading the necessary files, um, unpackaging them, and adding the necessary pieces uh, into your path. Okay, great, so we got that installed. Uh, I'm just not gonna open the documentation for a second just so we can poke around here a little bit uh, before we do that. I'm um, just gonna close this um, and then close Add-on Explorer. Now, if you wanna know if you already have something installed, uh, you can click uh, again on that uh, Add-ons and click Manage Add-ons. And we see, we'll see that uh, the high-speed converter toolbox should be in this list. And yep, so we see that on the top, Analog Devices High Speed. Uh, converter toolbox. And we'll just close this guy. And then uh, we can actually check uh, also inside the terminal uh, to see if uh, the toolbox is available. So typically you would just help type help ADI. And then you just give some information about like here are the parts that uh, the toolbox supports um, to do things like stream data back and forth to do control of an eval board or a custom uh, board depending on your software stack. Uh, here's the version of the toolbox, uh, version 21.1.1. Um, and there'll be specific versions that are uh, designed for specific uh, versions of MATLAB itself. Okay, so now that we've kind of looked at the, 
the command line doc, we can actually bring up the kind of the full feature doc that you would expect in, inside of MATLAB. Uh, you can do that by just typing doc. And as the doc loads, we scroll all the way to the bottom, and you'll see this supplemental software section. Uh, so each toolbox will have doc that's integrated into MATLAB itself, uh, but I'll also show you where you can get at it if you want to see it without actually looking at uh, MATLAB, and it's offered up on the web as well. So we'll just click on this, and we see the number of sections that are available to us. So uh, there's information about the boards that we support, uh, the uh, installation process. If you want to know what toolboxes are required for uh, which section, so if you want to run the simulation models, if you want to run the hardware interfaces, if you want to do targeting, uh, this section will talk about that. Um, there are a number of examples. Uh, it shows the philosophy behind how hardware streaming works with some of the underlying libraries that we use. Um, you can dig in and look at the uh, different behavioral models that are available, um, how you can kind of exercise the part in simulation form, uh, as well as uh, different hardware APIs. So if you want to say control something like the 981 uh, device, uh, you could uh, look at this, this documentation. It would tell you, here's how you view the sample rate, here's how you change the unsteal frequencies, uh, here's how you turn into test modes, load uh, programmable filters, things like that. Um, typical um, you know, APIs that you would use to control hardware uh, and to move data uh, back and forth from a device or uh, enable certain things like tone generators or scopes or things like that. Okay, so we'll close this up and let's switch over to actually uh, installing things through GitHub itself. Now the first step that we'll do is we'll actually uh, go to our manage add-ons and uninstall the, uh, the toolbox that we installed through Add-on Explorer. So this is always useful if you want to sometimes do an upgrade or you notice something strange in the toolbox, you just want to remove it. So to do that, uh, you go into your add-on manager here, you click on the toolbox, and you click on the three dots on the right here. So we'll click on that, and then we'll click on install. And say yes. We'll give that a second, and you see that it's removed. So if we go back to our terminal here, and we type help ADI, um, this should not produce anything. Yep, so no help for AGI found. So the toolbox is completely uninstalled. Okay, now uh, let's switch gears and talk about uh, the second option to installing the toolbox. Now this is done directly by grabbing the install file through, uh, through GitHub. Now uh, there's uh, some reasons why you might not want to install the toolbox through Add-on Explorer. Uh, since MathWorks does not allow versioning of toolboxes, um, only the latest version will be available through the Add-on Explorer. So if you're using an older version of MATLAB or there's some specialized build that you might want, um, you can access that directly on GitHub uh, through what we call MLTBX files or MATLAB toolbox files and install things that way. So uh, we typically try to follow closely with the re releases of MATLAB, uh, but uh, if you're on say an older version, uh, like two releases back or so, um, check the releases page on GitHub, which I'll, I'll go to, and grab the installers from there. So I'll open up a browser. And we'll go to github.com slash high-speed converter toolbox. And uh, so to download the installer file, we'll just click on this releases link here. And if we click on releases, or you, you'll see this, this first kind of, this is the latest release. It's always going to show that first. But if you want to go back to other versions, you can click on this releases link here. And you'll see uh, older versions that might support you know, 20A, uh, um, 20B, or 20B, 20A, um, 19A or 19B, um, and they kind of keep going back. We try to keep up as much as we can with versions of MATLAB. Okay, so um, I'm on 21A right now. So if I go to the, the latest release here, you'll see this, uh, this assets. So these are the, this is the file that you want to download. You don't want to download the source. You just want to get this MLTBX file here. So I'll click on this guy. And it's actually going to download that uh, file into the folder I was working in already. So we'll minimize this, and uh, I'll just go to that current folder, 
and you see this uh, analog device is high-speed converter toolbox file. So I'll just right click, say install. And it brings up the add-on manager again. Okay, and just as the same before, uh, open doc, uh, we'll just leave that check for now so you can see that it's the same doc that you got from add-on explorer. Um, and in this case, it's, you know, we just installed it manually through the releases page. So again, we go to streaming, you know, you see the same uh, diagram, uh, more information about the toolbox. So depending on if you want to uh, direct, install direct things directly from Add-on Explorer or grab the latest release uh, through, uh, or a previous release through GitHub, you can do either option and you end up in the same result. Now, the one last thing uh, that I just wanted to discuss uh, was actually on the GitHub page itself. So if we just go back to our browser here, I'm just gonna close this to give us some more space and then click on the high-speed converter toolbox itself on GitHub. Now, uh, before uh, we went and clicked on the release, if you wanna see all the source code in the toolbox, it's right here, you get all the, the source that's available to you. Um, the other thing uh, that's important is this link up here, and this gives you access to the documentation uh, on the web directly if you don't wanna install the toolbox, or say you, know, you don't have Matlab available to you right now, but you wanted to see what's inside the toolbox. So I'm just gonna open this link, and we see the same documentation uh, that we saw inside of MATLAB itself. Uh, the bars are a little bit different. Um, we just add some styling around it, and you'll see kind of the same pages. So you'll see the installation dependencies, uh, the behavioral models, um, information about them, um, data streaming, kind of the same plot that we saw beforehand, and, and there's also code inside these diagrams. So if you don't want to say install the toolbox today or just investigate it or you know even while you're working with it are um, more comfortable dealing with a web browser than directly in the matlab doc uh, this um, this is always available to you and we have this available for the high speed converter toolbox transceiver toolbox and the documentation will be available soon for the uh, the sensor toolbox and time of flight toolbox in this form if you do have questions please reach out uh, the support forums uh, are available on, on easy.analog.com. Uh, if you have issues installing the toolboxes or using them in any way, uh, please reach out uh, and we'll be happy to help you. Thank you.